Greetings friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Alicia and in today's video, I'm comparing a one bedroom villa at Animal Kingdom Lodge Jumbo House to a one bedroom villa over at Kadani, which is also located at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Now, when people mention Animal Kingdom Lodge, they are usually referring to Jumbo House, which is the main building on the property. It houses Jico and Boma, which are some really amazing restaurants on Disney property. They also have the most magnificent Christmas tree during the holiday season out of all the lobby trees, in my opinion. The lobby is actually a place where you want to hang out and chill and listen to the absolutely gorgeous African-themed Christmas music loop they have playing. You could even grab a drink at the nearby Victoria Falls lounge bar and sit back in one of the cozy chairs in the lobby or at the large romantic fireplace they have. We booked one night at Jumbo House using our DVC points, which is basically like Disney's timeshare. And I booked a one bedroom value room, which is generally a view of the parking lot. However, we were heavily pixie dusted with this room and we're given a Savannah view room at no additional cost. And another big plus was this room was located very close to the lobby because if you know anything about Animal Kingdom Lodge, you know how long those hallways can be. They can feel endless, especially at the end of a long park day. We were given room 5116 just for reference in case you are ever interested. I think you can put in a request for specific rooms. They're not guaranteed, but I know that they do try their best. So this room was fully loaded. They usually have everything you need for vacation. Now, we do not get like room service or housekeeping very often. That is just kind of like the rule with DVC. You don't get your room cleaned every night, which is something that honestly I love whenever I go on vacations when we stay in hotels I like when they come in and they kind of clean up the room for me because I'm on vacation but because this is a vacation club room we clean up ourselves so usually they give you like a vacuum or a broom this room included a washer and dryer which is great all the one bedroom two bedrooms and the grand villas do now if you rent a studio you are not given a washer and dryer however they do have laundry facilities on property i mentioned we were pixie dusted a savannah view this is the savannah view we have a really long balcony here so right there is the living room balcony and then where my kids we're at that is the bedroom balconies which is really really nice so there's two ways to get out to the outside just to view the animals and there was a lot of animals during our stay in fact let me put up a quick little story right here of an ostrich stepping on its own egg it was actually super super sad I did not like seeing it but it happens I guess so there you go we got to see nature in real life but here's the bathroom now jumbo house one bedrooms only have one bathroom that is the huge difference between Kidani and Jumbo. Jumbo, you're only given one bathroom and at Kidani one bedroom, you're given two restrooms. So we all have to share this one bathroom, which is not a big deal. It's a large bathroom, which is great. And this leads us into the master bedroom, which actually me and my husband did not sleep on this night. We decided to put all of the kids into that room, including the crib. All three kids slept in this room. We slept on the pullout couch out in the living room. We were fine with it, but the kids absolutely love that bed. But the bedroom has all of the things you need. The TV right there has all of the itineraries. If you've never been to Disney, they show like all of the park hours, the weather, restaurant information, park information, all that good stuff. There is some closet space right there with some hangers. And then here is where the washer and dryer are. We were given some laundry detergent, two bottles. You get two loads per one bottle. So right there's four loads right there and they also give you a basket which was very helpful for taking all of our clean clothes out of the dryer and putting them on our bed at the end of the night. While we were exploring the lobby a bit, we actually ran into the wood carver and he's located right outside the Zawadi Marketplace. And it is just so neat to see how detailed he is and how careful he is with his practice. It was really cool to see. 
So we were only at Jumbo House for one night and we got all of our stuff moved over to Kadani Village, which is only about an eight minute walk from Jumbo House. Now, I really love Kadani Village. The only reason I, I say I really love it is because of that additional bathroom like I mentioned earlier. I think when you have a lot of people in one room, you want to be able to get dressed in the mornings faster, get ready faster, brush your teeth quicker, and everyone can just kind of spread out, which is why we really like Kadani Village, just because of that extra restroom. It really does help, especially in the mornings when you're just trying to get out the door to the parks and make it on time. Same amenities, washer and dryer. They usually have a vacuum or a broom. This particular villa, I had to call and ask for a vacuum. Um, because our daughter makes such a mess, especially because we were in that room for seven nights. I cannot stand a dirty floor. I can't walk on a dirty floor, so I needed that vacuum. But again, the same amenities as you would get at Jumbo House. There is the pull-out couch in the living room area. These drawers right there located under the TV. I was able to put all of the kids' stuff out there, so that was nice to have. The kitchen, fully stocked kitchen. They do have like all of your basic cooking ware, bake ware, pots, a few pots, a couple pans, some dishes, and a coffee maker, of course. It is just a regular drip coffee maker in case you're um, wondering what kind of coffee maker they have. I do recommend getting some groceries for your room, either snacks or some breakfast items. You can either do this yourself or there's a lot of companies out there that will deliver groceries for you. The bedroom area at Kadani Village is a lot bigger than the bedroom at Jumbo House, which was really nice, especially considering how much longer this stay was here at the Kadani Village. Lots of drawer space, which is perfect for our packing cubes. I mentioned our packing cubes in the Pack With Me video I recently did. Highly recommend those packing cubes. They are amazing. You really should get some if you don't have any. They really keep everything organized. So this is looking into the other bathroom. So I showed you the first bathroom when you entered. Now this is the master bathroom. This has the most amazing jetted tub ever. I kind of cleaned it before I used it, but the tub is so, so good. And then it has the big shower right over there. And I love the murals that they have in all the bathrooms. It shows like the Lion King murals. I think that's really, really cool. Disney does provide shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and then like some barge soap and some lotion. Now there is a basin store located at Disney Springs in case you're wanting to zhuzh up your tub, like have like a nice relaxing bath bomb or something. So definitely head to Disney Springs for that. Here's the closet with some more hanger space, just lots more space. This is where we put our luggage at actually, and then the in-room safe. Now, as far as our view goes, I booked a one bedroom standard view. Now, standard view can mean a view of the parking lot. Sometimes you can get upgraded, just like we did at Jumbo House. We were not upgraded. I was totally fine with that. I was actually happy with our room. Um, we were, this is facing towards the Kadani pool, which is a really, really cool area, by the way. Now, jumping right back over to Jumbo House, the pool area over there is really cool as well. There is even a flamingo viewing area, which I thought was really incredible incredible. Now both Kadani Village and Jumbo, they have like these areas where you can go and get a really good viewing of the savanna so you can see certain animals during uh, different times of the day which is a very nice amenity to the resorts. Also every day they put out a poster board at each Kadani Village and at Jumbo of the activities that are going on at the resort. So for instance, one of the nights we did one of the campfires that they had, they have like a s'mores kit that you can purchase, which was a really fun activity if you're just looking at doing a resort stay. There are two arcades, one at Kadani, one at Jumbo House, and they're actually really nice arcades and it's really fun to just go and visit whenever you have some downtime. There is also what is called community halls. So basically you go there, you can play some board games. They have a pool table, foosball, and this is where you can also, which I did not know until this trip, you can rent tennis rackets and basketballs. I had no idea that they even had those on property. They have really nice tennis courts, really nice basketball courts that we actually did use on one of our days where we were not visiting the parks. It was really nice just to get some fresh air and to kind of let the kids run around for a bit. 
So I know this is kind of a shorter video, but I just wanted to give you a general overview of the differences between a one bedroom at Jumbo, one bedroom at Kidani. So hopefully this kind of helps you out on your next vacation. Um, this is just us having breakfast one morning in our room, which is honestly, which is great to have the option of a dining room whenever you get that one bedroom villa. Kind of just spread out at the dining room table, have a nice leisurely breakfast before hitting the parks. And then same for at night. We actually came home uh, early from one of the park days because we were done with the park so we actually picked up a little bit of a McDonald's. The kids got a McDonald's gift card in their stocking for Christmas so they got a happy meal to end the night which was really kind of fun. They watched a movie so I just wanted to show a little bit of that. There's more Disney videos coming so if you're interested in those definitely subscribe to my channel. I would really love your support and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys.